I just wanted to share a peer ministry memory of a student named Stephen. We had a student named Stephen in our ministry who, uh, when he first started coming to camp and other events, um, he would always seem to show up and ask if he could help. Um, if we were setting up a room or getting ready for an activity, uh, he was always there and saying, hey, what can I do to help? What do you need? Um, and he seemed like just such the perfect candidate for peer ministry. And we invited him to come to our peer ministry group and our peer ministry training. And uh, he really thrived. And he became a student who was very good at listening to others and noticing uh, others who were in need. And he also became a student who was very good at sharing uh, when someone needed to get to an innkeeper. Um, and he was often the one who would let us know if someone was experiencing a hardship in their life. Um, if they were struggling with a really difficult family situation, um, if they were going through depression, if they had uh, experienced some issues with uh, cutting or self-harm, um, if they were dealing with abuse. Uh, it was amazing how often um, students seemed to open um, their lives and their hearts to Stephen um, and how good he was at making sure that they got the care that they needed. Um, and we might not have known if those other students were struggling with those things um, without, stu without Stephen being in their lives and, uh, and noticing and having those conversations. So I'm grateful that peer ministry gave Stephen those skills and, and helped him to help those other students um, I know that it made a big difference in their lives and also in his. Um, he continues to use those skills even today as an adult. He is an ordained minister and continues to be a wonderful leader in the church. Uh, I'm grateful for, for how peer ministry has, has shaped him and, and so many other students um, in our ministry over the years. Thanks.